Could you imagine you've lived in a place for over 10 years, soy 11, but every single day without fail, when you tell a taxi driver, the car that's taking you, the motorcycle, you're sending something in the post, you tell them 11, 11, and they send you to number 18. This is a reality for so many foreigners in Thailand. Why does that happen? Well, doing these analyses over the past few weeks, I've really noticed a few recurring issues. And so I'm going to cover those in this clip. I hope this will be a definitive clip that you can always come back to into pronouncing these sounds. And I've actually come up with one sentence that has all of these sounds in it. And if you can pronounce this sentence correctly, it's going to have a night and day effect on the way that you pronounce Thai. I've had people from all over the world send in samples of them saying this sentence so we can look from different mother tongues, different dialects of English, people learning Thai and see the different things that different people have to look out for when they're learning to speak Thai and indeed other languages like Vietnamese and Chinese in this part of the world. So before we go any further, let's just take a quick look at this and do a recap. Now the Thai writing system is a map of the human mouth based on this Indic, we call it an Abu Gita. So it's a matrix of sound. So we have the back of the throat, palate. In India, we used to have these ta 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 on the cerebral, the, the top of the mouth, the roof of the mouth, ta 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 ta. But in Thai, they couldn't pronounce that. So it just went to the teeth. So this row is then the teeth, ta, and the lips, ba. So effectively in Thai, we have ka, ja, ta, ba. Four points of the mouth that things are coming from. And then we have these different actions. So if we have a look at the Indic sounds, we have ka, ka, ga, ga. So this is the voiced version of this. Ka, ga. So ga to ka. But have a look at here. This is where the problem starts. Listen to, we have ta, ta, and then da, da. So this was a, originally a D, but why on earth in Thai does the D come here? Da, de. Now I know that I've said this so many times, but D and B in Thai are not the same as B and D in English. D originated from a glottalized N. So, na, da, there's no da, there's no spit on it. And B, ba, actually came from a glottalized M. Ma, ba. So, to help you visualize that, I've got this ready. Have a listen to this. This is a N, na, okay. No. This is a D. Da. Da. Look at the difference. Let's hear them. No. Da. This is the same, and you can see the only difference is the glottis is closed first and it's opening, so you get this. There's no d t ticking on it. So have a listen. No. Da. Da. It's very clean. It's not da. As opposed to da. And you can see how clean it is there. The tongue's on the teeth, as opposed to where the tongue is where an N is pronounced, on that hard palate. So that is a key difference. And then we have ta. Ta. And that's pretty much in the same places in English. Ta, ta. And you can see this puff of air. That's why in the word Thailand you see an H in the spelling. It's showing that it's actually an aspirated T, Thailand. It's not Thailand or Thailand. So let's listen to those four together. No, da, ta, ta. Got it? So they're the ones from the dental position, but actually these are coming from the palate, the, the hard palate. Now let's listen to the ones from the lips. So we've got a ma, ma. Ba. See this? It's not b, 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 but it's ba. It's like an M with the throat caught in the beginning. Listen to that little bit. So listen to the difference. Ma, ba. Okay, it's not ba, but it's ba, ba, ba. It's soft. As opposed to ba, 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 ba. Now look at the difference. And this is where a lot of foreigners have problems. Versus this. This comes straight into the sound. There's no lead up to it. And then the paw. 
which is pa pan. This is an aspirated p. And again, this is why Phuket is written with the h, p, because there's a puff of air. You can hear that there. So listen to the difference between pa and pa. 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 So this is the main point of grief for many foreigners. These three. Pa. 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 So we've got those. Now there are a couple of others that bring grief as well. In Thai, despite what some of the transliteration systems use, there is no such sound as J as we know it in English. Have a listen. This is an English J. Jaw. Okay. Let's listen to it again. Jaw. Listen to the beginning of it. My voice is activated. But if we look at Jo Chan in Thai, have a listen. Jo. This is the beginning. There's no voice. Jo. And it's from way up here. Jo. Jo. As opposed to Cha Cha Chang. Have a listen. Cha. Cha Cha. They're the same except Cha Chang has a puff of air. That's the air. So listen, ta. So ta versus ta. The only difference is there's a puff of air in ta. Ta ta. And it's not a J from English. Jaw. There is no voicing. So I needed to cover that just so people can see without shadow of doubt that these are indeed different. Model yourself on what you've seen in these spectrogram images because it's really going to help you then pronounce these correctly. So let's look at this sentence. I've started with some of the text-to-speech versions just so you can hear a baseline. Let's listen to Google text-to-speech. Okay, that's not too bad. So you can hear that the throat's cutting off. They're all nice and clean. They're not running into each other. Let's listen to Apple's OSX Say program. The lady's voice is Kun Kanya. Let's listen to her say it. Okay, I would say the word "bat" is probably too fast here. Bat, bat, bat. Should be bat, bat. But it's clear. It's very clear. So you can hear every syllable is so clear there. So let's jump into humans saying these. These are in no specific order. It's just in the order that they've aligned themselves in my file system as they've come in. Okay. So in general, you can hear this. I don't know what nationality this guy is. Um, It sounds kind of Australian, where the placement of the vowels are. Um. Now that's pretty good. You can see there's an aspiration. You, I can hear that there. It could even be stronger. Pom pom. Pom tong jai. Tong tong is not too bad too. You can see a bit of a pre tong tong first, but it's pretty clean. Tong jai si bad. Jai could probably be a little bit longer, but it's not too bad. Jai si jai si jai si jai si jai si and si is short, which is good. Tong jai si bad ban. Okay, but listen to this. Okay, let's listen to this. Can you see that puff of air at the end? Bad, 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 It's running on, and so that starts to risk sip it being sip bad, sip it, sip bad. It needs a break there. Godai. And the day was very nice, very clean, no d at the end. Okay, next person. Okay, so that was very good aspiration on the pom. You can hear that in there. Pom. Pom. Tong jai s i b a t bad. Okay, what I would say here, I can hear a glottalization and actually bad, where it should be long and the glot is closing on this d o d e k at the end. It's a bit short. Jai s i b a t bad. And you can say it sounds like sip bat, sip bat. They almost the same length. Jai sip bat, jai sip bat, sip bat, sip bat, sip bat, sip bat, sip bat. Sip bat, sip bat should be sip bat, sip bat. Short, long, but they're pretty much the same length here. Sip bat, bad. ต่อไปป้าใจสิบแปดบาทก็ได้ And so listen to this then. ใจสิบแปดบาท So this should be sip it. 
Sip-ed, sip-ed. You can hear the pushing onto that bed sounding like bed. Bed. It should be sip-ed. And the air, the vowel here. Let me just stretch this out. Listen to the air vowel. Air. It should be air. So if we hear them together, let's listen to this vowel. And let's listen to this vowel. Almost the same, but this should be sip bad. And this should be sip it, a a a a, and sip it needs to be short. Sip it, as opposed to sip bad. This is very common of Chinese speakers because there's no distinction between short and long vowels. It's really tough to get the muscles thinking of vowels in short and long. Okay, next cab off the rank. Let's listen. Okay, a couple of things in there. There's good um, pom. That's pretty aspirated. You can hear the pom. I could say even stronger, and it would be nice. Pom dong jai si bet. Jai is a little too fast. Jai 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 jai. Dong jai, dong jai, and the tone. Dong jai. Dong jai, dong jai, dong jai, dong. Si bet bat. Okay, so you can hear this. Sip bad, but um, the bad is very short. Sip bad, and the vowel eh eh, it's almost eh. Eh eh eh, should be sip bad, sip bad bad. long short. So again, listen to that. And you can hear the sip bad, sip bad. So it could sound instead of sip it, like sip bad. Um, and I could see how people could get confused. Listen to this. It's almost identical. Okay, next. So that again is very characteristic of Chinese kind of English. And one other thing, have a listen to ba. There's a glottalization at the end that it probably should have the the tongue hitting the palate first. You can hear there's this glottalization just coming in a little too early. It should be ba long, hitting the palate and glottis closing at the same time. Ba ba ba, not ba. Okay, that's very characteristic of um, Chinese, especially southern dialect. Okay, next. Okay, um, this sounds like a British accent. Pom pom. Probably a little more aspiration there. Tong. Open the mouth more. Tong. Tong. Okay. Tong. Not tong, but tong. Tong jai se e. Dai, dai, long. Jai se. And low tone. Tong dai. Tong jai se e. Sip. You can hear this hyperglottalization there. Glottis cuts it off before the sip, turning it into sip. Sip e. Can you hear that? Sip. It's cutting it off too early. It should be sip. Sip. Sip e. Ah. And bad should be long. Uh, 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 uh. Can you hear the glottis cladding it off there? That's this water. So if you get a lot of people from the UK and they're speaking with this glottalization, you get this. So instead of sit bad, it's turning to sit bad, sit bad, which is what many Burmese people get accused for when they're speaking Thai. Uh, also, a lot of UK people. It should be sit bad, short, long, and cut off as soon as it hits the lips or the palate. Sit bad. Uh, uh. Ba again, ba. It's glottalized at the end. Should be ba, ba, ba. Ah, ah, ah. You can't hear the tongue hitting the palate. Do bai ba jai si e a. Okay, do bai, do bai, do bai. Do bai ba. You can hear the too bit too much t on the do. That should be clean. Do, do. Do bai ba jai si e a. Goodbye. And this. Is a bit too meaty. Should be t -t -t die die. I sip it. Ah, good. Sip it again. Sip it. It's good that this is separate. Die sip it. But you can hear that. Eh, sip it. But I. What do you think? I think I can try sip it. But it says eh eh. Should be sip it. Sip it. But good. Ah, good. 
Okay, awesome. This is a very good specimen for people from the UK. Take note of everything you heard there and focus on getting rid of that hyperglottalization where the glottis kicks in before the mouth hits. Next. Okay, that pom was good. Nice aspiration. And the tong is pretty good. Pretty clean. Look at that. That was pretty clear. All I'd say is the tone. Not It should be You can hear Look in the tones here. That was pretty good. Instead of Karai, Karai, uh, sounds a bit Aussie there. Karai, um, Karai, oh, not ah, Karai, Karai, Pad Karai. See that? It's more like a ka. It should be Karai, Pad Karai. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Next. That's really good aspiration. Hear that there? Pom. Pom tong zai. Zai. It's a bit meaty there, but it's pretty. It's it's okay. You can hear that. Probably should be further here and more glottalization at the beginning. Tong zai zai. Pom tong zai. Sip bad bad. Okay, sip bad. But listen to the vowel here. It's good that these are separate. Sip bad. But listen to the. It's an air air. Eh, 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 rather than sip bad ah, ah. it's sounding in between an a ah and an air eh, and this could lead to confusion sip bad bad sip bad bad now this is very common of isan um dialects they will move this a ah, like in la sip bad to sip bad 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 so if you've got influence from isan that could be the reason why this a ah vowel is moving forward to a eh. It should be sip bad. Sip bad bad. To bai ba. To bai not to bai. To bai. To bai ba jai. Ba jai. Again, this is pretty good. Ba jai. Sip et bad go dai. And that's pretty good. Sip et bad go dai. So I would say the vowel position of this a ah probably needs to go back further so it's not sounding like the a. Ah. Next. Okay, good aspiration. See that? Okay, that's pretty good. Listen to that again. You can see the separation here. That's really good. And that's pretty clean. That could probably be a little longer, but that's just nitpicking. That's good length. Okay, there's this one little thing here. Listen to this. If I take the end of this and pull it into there, you shouldn't hear that. It should be sip et, sip et. You can hear this break. But if I just play that section, it sounds like bat, bat, bat. This is where the taxi drivers will get confused. If you're telling them to go to Soy 11, Sip Et, but they're hearing Sip Bad. Listen to that again. Bad, bad, bad. So if I play that whole word, that should be Sip Et, Sip Et, Sip Et. But this is sounding like Sip Bad. This is why cab drivers will get confused. Hey, sip et, bad, got I. And got I, got I, got I, got I. Okay, so there we go. We're not looking for perfection, but what I've showed you here isn't about perfection. This is about simple utility in the language, saying something and not being taken to the wrong soy. In English, we have so many different accents, dialects that we're used to, and so people could say things a million different ways. It doesn't matter, but in Thai, it's not like that. And especially if you go out of Bangkok, people aren't used to hearing all of these different varieties of Thai. You really need to just at least work on getting the basic consonant structures, the positions, the positions of the vowels, the sounds, and the aspiration. You might not think it's that important if you're coming from English or a Romance language, but seriously, in Thai, it is everything. Vowel length, 
aspiration and position of consonants and position of vowels. If you can get that right, the tone will actually follow and the tone's not as important, but it is important. But you'll find that when your throat and your mouth is doing the right thing, the tones will follow. I hope this has been useful for you. If you like this stuff, scan the QR code up top. People have been sending their specimens into the Discord server. If you scan that, you'll jump into the Discord server. And we'll be doing more of these because I think they can really help learners. And just hearing a couple of different people, you might think, oh, yeah, that's me too. And it will be able to help too. This is actually why I wrote Cracking Thai Fundamentals in the beginning so long ago. Originally as a course uh, 20 years ago and then as a book, I tried to answer all the most simple or sometimes not so simple questions in a way that just people could understand. Because if you ask a native speaker of the language, they're not going to know. It's like you, whatever your mother tongue is, you're not going to know the intricacies of why somebody sounds the way they do, why they sound a little bit off. You just know oh, that's not right. The same with native speakers of Thai. So I wrote this book so it could explain all of that and at least get this Thai operating system for the mind and the throat inside of you because I really truly believe that we have the most amazing apparatus inside us. We were designed to learn and speak different languages. We just have to learn how to use the equipment and we can be our best coaches, our best teachers. All we have to do is pull the data from our environment and learn to self-correct. But we need a little bit of knowledge under the hood. That's what this is all about. Come in, join the Minecraft Discord server, join Minecraft, and you'll really get a masterclass in all of this. And I'll see you on the other side.